Hi, welcome back to my channel. In the my previous video, I shared about using sample code in the simple pgsql library to send queries to a postgresql database. In this video, I will demonstrate how to record data from the readings of a DHT11 sensor into postgresql database. The DHT11 sensor is connected to ESP8266, and at regular intervals, the ESP will send the readings from the DHT11 sensor directly to the PostgreSQL database. The data to be recorded includes temperature and humidity, and this will be achieved by sending an insert query command using the simple PGSQL library. Let's get started. This is the table structure for recording the readings from the DHT11 sensor. It consists of three columns, time, which defaults to the recording time, now, temp for temperature, and humidity for humidity data. Here is a simple wiring setup for the DHT11 sensor with the ESP8266. It only requires three jumper cables for VCC, ground, and the signal pin from the DHT11 sensor. I have connected the signal pin to pin D4 on the ESP8266. Here is the code in the Arduino IDE. These are the required libraries used in this project. Next, this is the configuration for reading the DHT11 sensor. This is the configuration for the Wi-Fi connection, as well as the PostgreSQL database configuration, including the username, password, and database name. In this code, every 60 seconds, the ESP will read the values from the DHT11 sensor and then send an insert query to add the temperature and humidity to the DHT underscore data table. Before uploading, Ensure that the correct board is selected. In this case, since I am using the ESP8266 generic module, make sure it's chosen in the board selection menu. Additionally, ensure that the correct port is selected before proceeding with the upload. I'm also sharing this code. Please download it from the link provided in the video description. After uploading, open the serial monitor to view ESP serial notifications. Wait for a moment until the ESP connects to the configured Wi-Fi network. You will then see the starting query message, indicating that the ESP has successfully connected to the database and is ready to execute queries. Wait until the specified interval time, and the ESP will read the values from the DHT11 sensor, then send an insert query for temperature and humidity. Let's see that the ESP has executed the query. Now, let's check the database table to see if the data has been successfully recorded. Perfect! The data has been successfully recorded in the database. We can also observe that the temperature and humidity values in the serial monitor match those stored in the database. Let's take a look at the next record. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next one. See you in the next video.